Funstock Racing is our source for racing games. Use code MODERGAMES for 5% off. Hello and welcome in another episode of Moto News and we begin with American Truck Simulator Contest which was supposed to end yesterday but it didn't. We had very simple question what was the first name of our YouTube channel. So we had few entries and the correct answer was Moto Games. Some, some people thought that our first channel was FIFA Maniac or Lucas TDU or Jude. Where did that come from? So only one person was lucky enough to guess correctly. So still we have one Steam code. So the challenge is very easy now. So just write the comment below this video. I want to be a mother trucker and I want to change gears and eat some burgers from McDonald's country. So I think we need now like a week. Yeah, and we'll choose a random person who wrote this comment. So now it's simpler. Let's move on to the proper news now. First off, we start with Race Room and there has been some small teaser of new feature up in upcoming update. And it is a ability to save and load and do stuff with your setups. So finally, you don't have to remember or take screenshots of your setups for cars for, for every track, but you will be able to make some and save them. I didn't even know that wasn't there, to be honest, but that's probably because I rarely look into setups anyway. So that's an important feature in a simulation game, I, I have to say that. And now iRacing, and another car is coming to this game, we have very short teaser, and this picture of so next car which will be released this month will be Mercedes AMG GT3. Also, I think another car from Mercedes is coming this month. Another car, which I forgot name, and graphics update. So yeah, a lot of stuff is coming to iRacing now. Just like, oh, I don't know, race room. Now, some bad news. But it's not Project Cars, it's a set of Corsa, and on console, it's delayed to June. It was supposed to be released on 22nd of April, but now, currently, it's delayed to June 3rd. We don't know if it will be postponed to further date, maybe, if it's Italians. Game is targeted to run at 60 frames per second, PS4 is probably gonna run on 1080p while Xbox is gonna run on 900p. Yeah, they say that they wanted to do 1080p on Xbox but then just not able to. And the other news is that um, we have new previews of, of updated Vallelunga circuit with KTM X Ball, but this time we don't have any comparisons, so you have to do them yourself. But the background looks more detailed than what I remember from the current game, so. Actually, we have to stay on the topic of bad news because now it's Forza 6 time. So, Brian Eckberg released a statement that new update will bring some issues to Forza 6. So, this is how they make game, make a patch which make games worse. Uh, it's turn turn style, so what can we expect next? So if you have Ford Chip Ganazi Racing Relay Daytona prototype, which uh, has level 3 of weight reduction upgrade, your game will crash and you won't be able to la launch it until next update. So yeah, remove it from garage and don't use this gun. No, don't, you don't have to remove it from garage, but just don't use it and particularly don't tune it with the weight reduction upgrade. Well, you can try and use it without the upgrade, but it's not recommended. If you want to risk, then go ahead, but there are over 500 other cars to use in the game, so... And now Need for Speed, so we had leak, unfortunately this leak was faked by this plumber with name of Ben. Yeah, thank you. So first news, manual transmission is coming to Need for Speed, as we know, right? On PC, blah, blah, blah. It will be in the next two days, on March 3rd. And hot rods are coming to Need for Speed too, starting with the 1932 hot rod. For unique body kits, well, soft top, coupe, sedan and pickup. Wow. Listen, full customization, hood, lights, grill, exhaust, bumpers and more. Well, I thought this game is about this, so you don't have to mention it. 
and also there will be second hot road so yeah drag racing is coming to this game so i'm guessing some need for speed fans are probably wet now new feature called warehouse wow five more yeah five more cars finally after four months yes and look at this rapid improvements new trophies achievements and some fixes in patches holy fucking shit did you see the picture of that what the fuck is this what the fuck is it a bad mobile oh it's a iron bag bag customs f132 okay formula one star chassis and nascar engine it's it will still drive crap because the handling model isn't very good in that game but i've said it before so yeah till this picture need for speed was about cool cars and now we have this improvement snapshot pro mode I wonder if you can now pause the game, like freeze your car, so you can do a drift shot, for example. Because this game is online, so if you want to go into the snapshot mode, you cannot pause the game, so the car still moves, so you either crash into the wall, and then it's too late for the picture, or you have to stop the car and you can't do a moving. Or you need another person to do the photo of your car while you're moving which is probably the most realistic feature of that game when it's not in needed so last time we've talked about the dlc for sebastian Le rally evil the rallycross dlc and it's come out with a trailer also and it doesn't look great <laughs> but uh, weirdly um S sebastian love is going to do world rallycross this season if you didn't know so big race, big rivalry between Sebastian Loeb and Ken Block. And Peter Solberg. So, so they, they know each other. Where is Mika Hakim? He's from Formula 1, so what's the point? Yeah, but he can slide now. Okay, so now it's time to slide to Project Cars. Sorry, Project Cars. And we got a new DLC today. Yay! So we have four cars from USA and one free car from Great Britain and it was delayed thanks to Xbox One which is from USA so yeah one week later we finally got DLC and today we get a DLC for Forza probably so let's make life easier thank you very much let's put two DLC on one day okay so now Motocross GP2 there has been a trailer of Stadium Series game mode and then gameplay from that game mode so this is a track which is built in the stadium for the purposes of the event so there is many people around here and it's very tight and i seem to have missed the fact that this game is made by milestone again so yeah you know what you can expect from it i think um probably they earn more money now by doing so many different titles but they should narrow it down and concentrate more and do some better more you know more polished um games i think because they are doing motocross gp they are doing ride they are doing what moto gp they are doing sebastian Lobrelli evo they're, they're doing valentino rossi the game and holy cow uh, they're not the biggest studio but they seem to be releasing like five games a year Yes, and we're complaining about race room when we get no Schleifer. At least we know when we get Automobilista, it's right now and you can buy it on Steam. And if you haven't bought Stock Car Extreme, you have to pay 30 euros. But currently this game is a promo, which will end on March 7th and will cost 37 euros. So actually, I wonder now, will be anyone interested in watching some videos from Automobilista? And we'll do a poll now in the cards on the YouTube so you can vote if you want to say yes or no. Oh, holy shit! Forza Motorsport 6 Apex, Forza Motorsport 6 Porsche expansion, everything is here. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, stay everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay f calm! Wait, 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 wait! Everybody just f calm down! Let's go! And trailer for Forza 6 Porsche expansion, great! Download, upload! Go, fucking go! Announce trailer for the Apex, fuck, cock, shit. Okay, so we can end this very exciting Moto News with new DLCs and new phones on PC, yeah, and see you next time. 
If you enjoyed the modern news, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment if you want to discuss anything, we'll maybe answer. So, see you in another modern news and take care. Bye.